it's Tammy with Love to Create, and I'm coming with you today with a March <coughs> um, planner setup. Oh, I wonder if you can hear the wind outside. It is like terrible. <laughs> um, it's been really cold, so I've been waiting for my furnace to go off so I could record, and now the wind is like crazy. But anyway, so I finished my setup. And I was going to share it with you. And this was for March, and I'm using the Coco Daisy. So still using my um, DIY Traveler's Notebook. And a lot of it is the same, but I'll take you through things that I did change. This is the same. I did add this fly leaf um, from one of the papers in the Coco Daisy kit. And then I added this. Um, this card came in the kit. Oops, sorry about the glare. And this little shamrock came from created, I don't know if you can see that, created by Danielle on Etsy. So that was really cute. And then I decorated the cover. Plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. I I did like how colorful this kit was. Um, it does kind of remind me of fall, a lot of it. So I did try to stick with the like brighter colors. So here's just the part where, or that front page where I just put my days to work in. And on the first page I decided to use that as like meal planning so ideas I get for meals that I want to cook I'll put down here and then I can just put them in randomly because I don't like to be like have a set plan it never works out um, and then these pages right here like I added this little tip in from some of the pages that come in the personal planner and I got this idea from Lindsay I think it's Sassville and I'll link that video below so you can watch that um, I love this idea so I'll just put my meals that I cook oh here comes my furnace so I'll be back otherwise it's just too darn loud Okay, I'm not exactly sure where I took off, but we'll start again. So basically, added these little tippins with um, what we're gonna eat for the day or what we did eat. I don't always fill it in ahead of time. Sometimes I fill it in after. Um, but it works great because this side you can use for like things you, an overview, I guess, of things that are going on that week or things that need to get done but I really love this idea her videos are great so definitely watch and of course I'm late doing a little bit of a setup so um, you'll see that I wrote in most of these but we're already on to this week so I have that um, held with this little um, pom-pom clip that I got from the Speckled Peach on Etsy. And she also sent this, sent this little free sheet of stickers, so that was cute. I also got um, this little bow from her too. So, love that. Um, and I will put links to those shops as well. So anyway, overview of the week. Then for this section, in order to like hold these together, I am using one of those little gold clips. So then I did a spring cleaning section, um, just kind of a master list just to kind of keep myself on track and so I know exactly what I've done, which you can tell I haven't done much yet. <laughs> I have done some of it, I haven't marked it, but. And then I have goals for the month, which 
I'm just gonna, whoop, there's my kitty. So those are just the personal goals I have, YouTube ideas, and then I put an inspiration section for like um, inspirational quotes or verses or anything that speaks to me this month I'm gonna put in here. So I left plenty of room for that. So that is my um, monthly setup from the Coco Daisy for March. So I like how that turned out. And this is the notepad that was in the kit this month. And like I said, I have this little paperclip bow from the Inspired Peach. So cute. These pictures I didn't change. Don't know how often I will change those out. Um, the only thing I did here was add one of this month's washi tapes. Uh, I did add this little clip. I don't know if you can see that, but it says life. And so that's just my overview of this month. And so didn't really do much for decorating there, but. And then just added this month's stickers in here and the sticky note. And this section is new. This is actually one of the dollar spot. Actually, it's not. It wasn't in the dollar spot. It's a Target. It's the little calendar thing. But I actually got this for forward planning because, like, I know what my work schedule is going to be through the end of February. But I can't really put them in here because we don't have April's, or through the end of April, sorry. Um, but I can't really put them in here because I want to decorate it first. So I'm going to use this little book for forward planning. And it was like reddish on the cover, had this kind of thing. And so I just covered it with paper and used um, a card. And I don't know, you see... Yeah, not sure who, where the card came from. It's not a project life. But anyway, it was in my stash. So that's what that section's for. And then I haven't changed these pictures. As far as the note section, I added, I don't know if this was in here before, but like a home section, things I want to get done or goals I have for my house. Then I have... A trip section this summer we're gonna be going South Dakota so I want to put some notes and stuff there I have a monthly subscription list and then another thing I added was this awesome little wallet insert and this is from the melon journal she's on Etsy and this was so well made. So it's got like little pockets um, to put stuff in. And you've got this section. There's a section here and a zipper pouch. And then it also came with pen loop. So I'm thinking I can make some of these. I'm going to I might try it. So anyway, love it. It's adorable. She had other different fabrics, so that's the one I picked. But And then my expenses book back here with a little pom-pom um, clip, which I got from that same Etsy store, the Inspired Peach. And then these are the same pictures that I had before. So anyway, that is my setup for now. I did take out since my last video I took out one of these and I took out my password section I really do like this so I don't know if I'm going to try to incorporate it again but you can see it is like really full and I am so excited because I did order I put in my first order for Foxy Fix so I'm so excited, can't wait to get it, but I will do an unboxing video when I get those and then probably another setup video. So 
as always, happy crafting. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks!